Alright guys, welcome back to, I think this is episode 10? Yeah, it should be episode 10 of Minecraft Let's Play. And this episode, we are going to complete the iron farm. Yeah, if you're wondering what iron farm. Exactly. Alright, so I've been on the stream, I've been pretty busy on stream. So let's, let's load up this world real quick. Alright, okay, the first thing you probably noticed is that a lot of my equipment has been enchanted with mending. If you're wondering why, it's because okay, these golden apples and these potions of weakness plus curing those two guys essentially gave me um, a permanent discount of one emerald for an unbreaking free book and one emerald for a mending book. How you guys what you guys think about that? And also, as you may have noticed. There's kind of a rail system here going, a manual one that just keeps going, just keeps going all the way to we are right here. And this is the base of our iron farm. So as you may have noticed, I mean as you may know, uh, usually in iron farms, the villages are all compacted in one cell. Usually 10 villages per cell or 5 villages per cell. And... In this case, I am planning to make a villager trading hall and an iron farm right on top of it. So this platform, like from this corner all the way to the other corner, excluding the ones outside, it's 19 blocks, the typical dimension for an iron farm. And yeah, right on top of this will be the spawning platform for the golems. Exactly. So I have to find a way to spawn proof the bottom actually for, for the fear that iron golems may spawn. So I might need to do slabs on here. But yeah, currently it's with blocks, but yeah, if iron golems do end up spawning down here, I may have to replace them with slabs instead. And yeah, that would be all. So let's take this. let's go to sleep for a moment and yeah. I'll show you guys the good stuff. I should probably fix up my pickaxe and or pretty much everything. I don't think I have any more potatoes to smell or something, anything like that. So we oh wait, I do have beef and all that. So I can use those to collect XP. So we just get a V's real quick. Put these in this hopper. Get a lava bucket. Wait, not in the chest. In the furnace. Lock this guy to collect another bucket of lava, which I do not have. Oh, that's sad. I thought I had one. Well, whatever. No matter. Okay, for now, let's just put the bucket there. And we should be able to repair most of our items. There you go. Level up, level 30. Our armor's all repaired. Should probably put mending on my shield and my these two items too. Very nice. Keep gaining XP from that. Meanwhile, while we smelt that, we shall harvest some sugarcane. Because we need some emeralds. And without emeralds, we don't get mending books. Or oh, unbreaking books for that. No, these loads. Right, smell a sugarcane. Okay, okay, that's fine. Make some paper. 13. I think I should have enough now. Should get a book. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure I only can trade once. Because that's all the emeralds I can get. Oops. There you go, mending book. And if you're wondering what's all with, what's with all that noise, the village breeder is working. Mm. There you go. It's all the villages right here. Which well, we are going to transfer to the iron farm. I have no idea if it's enough. But hey, only one way to find out, right? Did you prepare? Try to repel irons. I mean, uh, diamond sword. 
What was this? Let me sort out my items real quick. Pretty messy from what I had. And my mom drops. Don't think so. Plant stuff. Chicken. Paper. Where's my paper? Paper. Uh, mom drop. Equipment. I guess no equipment. Dirt. I'll leave the cobblestone and all of these for now. Yeah. That should be pretty good. Well, I guess that's good enough. So I'll fill up the rest of the smoker. And while they do that, things probably gonna do this. Nah, I'll update that later. It's episode 10 if I remember. Ah, oh god. Probably wait for the button to go through. Oops, keep my table right there. Very nice. Let's close this and try to go fully repaired. And should be one more and we're done. Oh no, wait, let's enchant our axe here. Very nice, that is not very nice. Because it's now broken and I need more iron. But that should be fine, we have a mending pickaxe. We have a mending pickaxe, so that should be pretty fine. The next thing to get for the pickaxe is probably fortune. You have fortune iron and there you go. Repair my axe here. Okay, decent. Put this guy's here. Oh, back to level 35. And after this, oh, then I need one more. There you go. You can let that food smell while we show you how to do this. Okay, wait. Let me let me check the configuration right there. Okay, so the rails will just go through here and go in here, where the villagers will go in, and because the trapdoors are closed, the villagers can't really escape. The bits will go on top, and yeah, I'll link them one by one. I probably might either do that off camera or on stream, so. Okay, keep a look out, keep a look out. Because if you want me to record that for a YouTube video, that video is gonna be it's gonna take ages. It's gonna take literally ages. Okay. So let's start, shall we? So we'll be down here. Put the minecart there. Watch the video go up, push him a little, and you should be able to make it out. Oh, that might he fell back down. Oh, we can push him out. Need a little more power on it. Okay, never mind. Need a little more, bit more power on the accent. There you go. And he's just gonna make his merry way to the cell. And once it's in there, just break the minecart, get it back, and we repeat the process. And that's how you get villages into or to wherever you want. Even though this builds right over the water, it's actually pretty simple to do. I mean, if I don't say so myself. And we shall continue doing that for the rest of our... There you go. Oh my goodness, I should upgrade this a little. Hold up, let me get the rest of my power wheels. 
should probably make a lever too. Should be able to make a lever. Maybe make a stick first. Make a lever, lever. Power rails. Oops, where am I going? Two more. Should we just just the right amount? He's he's trying his best. He's trying his best, guys. And he just stops it. Okay, what do I need to do here? Probably break this. Attach lever here. Oh, wait. There you go. Now it should be able to shoot right out. Mm. That's what it's supposed to do. And that's the fifth video if I recall. Or maybe the fourth. Alright. And once we're done, the plan is to give them each a workstation and break this block and put water a water source block inside there so that they do not delink from the station. Because trust me guys, the last thing you want is a villagers delinking from your workstation. That's very bad. Like villagers, they just they just they just don't want to cooperate, you know? And we just continue doing this till we are full. I don't think we have enough villagers to be honest. But there's only one way to find out. And that's to Oh no, oh no, I might have to try to speed through this and break this. Oh, I did it. It's pretty slow because there's, there's no power after this. And in he goes. I completely forgot about the rails here. There you go. And we shall keep doing this for the rest of the episode, I guess. As you can see, I built the second level of the, of the base there. I think I make it, made it a little too high. Might reduce it by a block or two. But honestly, it looks fine. Maybe, maybe it looks a bit high because I haven't really done a lot with it. I just literally built the, the, the sides. But I'm planning to build an entrance from the inside with the ladders and all it's kind of like a balcony or maybe I should make an entrance on the outside that might be cool I don't know what do you guys think okay we need quite a bit of torches there I mean okay let's just salvage some torches from here just so we don't get any Villages get turned into zombie villages. You don't need that much light. Maybe because the update really focuses on only having mob eh uh, what? Light level zero with mob spawns. But I guess there's some glitches somewhere here and there. But should be fine here. Okay, it's night time. I'm afraid of creeper holes in here. Should probably change all of these to steps. Probably be the best play. There you go. Should be lit up enough. I in reality I don't really want that place to be lit up so much. I might be using soul lanterns. Soul lamps, soul lanterns. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> Just to build the area, build in the area. So it'll be a nice spooky configuration, I guess. To be fair, in the middle is gonna be a lava pit because. Iron farm. Iron farm usually uses a lava pit. And yeah. Uh, I should probably harvest these two. Completely forgot about them. The only source of soul sand I actually have here. Slowly grow these out to a full size nether wart farm. For any of my potion needs. Another dude. They didn't get any villages. 
We didn't get any visits. Oh, there you go. Got one. So as you can see there, the minecart dungeon actually leave the area until it gets a villager. And once it gets a villager, it has enough momentum to actually go go up that slope. And yeah, and that's how good it is. So we have to keep destroying the freaking minecart if it doesn't get a villager. We'll just do that for you. Oh no. Forgot to do that. Is that a way for me to never forget you guys? Okay, go back there. Sorry bro, I forgot to change the lines. This one is the easiest one, just go straight. Hey, technically I can just push the minecart back. Excuse me? should exit with a villager there you go best thing I've ever built go 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 straight in you go Right here. I hope I never real for this. I don't know whether I have enough iron to support myself right now. Not have to go for mining sessions. But yeah, the plan right now is to just transfer all the villages there, and then we'll link bits to each one of them. And once we link bits to them. We'll start uh, shuffling the librarian traits. Yeah. Once we shuffle librarian traits and get whatever we want, it should be pretty good. It should be pretty good. Get the zombie villager healing discounts for every one of them. Uh, I heard it's permanent. I'm not sure about that. But as long as I get them, th they themselves are the ones that get cured. I heard the, the discount is permanent. It's not like the area of effect ones that apply to the rest of them. Because those are definitely not permanent, I can I can tell you guys that for sure. Alright, so we can move on. And after that we could probably we will probably be the most powerful person in this place. Just because, just because. And back down and back up. Probably not picking up villages. Just trying to pick up villages. Oh, none of them going to the corner. Come on. Oh, there you go. You got one. I don't think I got that many left. So I might have to get more bits. I have to link all of them to bit first though. Right in. Okay, I'll probably link whatever I have right now to bit first and then I'll breed more in which case I need to put more bits in there I mean over there not in my iron farm trading hall place but to be honest guys that does look like a woodland mansion doesn't it like I mean just a sliver of a woodland mansion maybe I am secretly a villager which is why I'm doing this with villagers and why I <laughs> literally slayed two villages, two village wolves of villages. Yeah, maybe I'm secretly a villager. You guys just don't know it. Maybe this is just all makeup that I'm wearing right now. I have like grey skin <laughs> and a big, big ass nose. Just went for plastic surgery, so you guys don't know about it. Can I just ride it? 
Oh, slow. Up oh, here, he has one. Let's go. <laughs> Honestly, just having villagers in here with baits on top of them already means that iron golems will actually start to spawn. So this would be a temporary iron farm of sorts where I just have to manually kill the golems. It'd be pretty bad, but it works, it doesn't it? It works. If it works, it ain't stupid. Okay, I just need to stay in the hitbox of the minecart and I go pretty fast. It's like dribbling in Rocket League. So to get the speed just right. Pick one up. Oh, this is quick. Oh, I have one dude left. Hey, bro, you'll be the last one in. Okay, then I have to get all the bits. Every single one of them. And try to link each villager to that bit. I mean, I would make a, all bits of the same color, but from what I got from the villages, it's probably like white and yellow. Only those two colors. Okay, my last villager for the episode. Still got time though. Last boy. Can I get him? I got him. See you there, bro. Oh, he's fast. He's fast. He's fast, alright. I can get chased up to him because he's slow down. There you go. There you go. There you go. He fooled me. And there we go. So we got 8 plus 7, 15 villages. That ain't bad. I think one side has 8 villages. Let's see. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, because the first one ain't occupied yet. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 villages. In, they ain't bad either. Uh, put this for the next villager. Hold up. That's very bad. And hopefully, we get this done by the end of the week. Should be okay. I mean, I'll be working the night shift this week. So it might be a bit rough. But yeah, this should be fine. It's almost a hundred days in the, in the world. I mean, most people have already killed, killed the Ender Dragon at this point. But this guy wants to get like really, really, really good stuff. Is that? Oh, there's four buckets of lava. I'll take that first. Let me keep all of these things. Okay, cobblestone goes there. Sticks goes up here. Get some buckets for the lava. One, two, three, and four. Very nice. Very, very nice. All these bits. Okay, I'll keep all the stuff right now. Cause I need to get a ton of bits into my inventory. Keep my tools and grab all of these and see which bed links to which villager. And once I have everyone there, okay, who does? Oh my goodness, my ferret pulled me. Who does this link to? It links to that guy. Okay, okay. Let me get my ferret back home first. I didn't even realize I clicked on him. Sneaky little parrot, isn't he? Is he outside? Oh, he's right here. Sneaky little guy. It's gonna be sunset soon, so it's probably a good idea for me to wrap this up. I'm gonna use a white bit because it probably looks better. Should link to that guy. And this one should link to the other dude. 
There you go. And then next thing to do is to just go to the iron raid farm. The temporary iron farm. <laughs> and link all the villages right there. That should be all good. You stay there. Get into my boat because it's way faster. Okay, we shall put the bits on the roof. But first, should put some temporary blocks. Oh, I should have gotten some blocks. But this always happens on stream. I always don't get enough blocks for my good for myself. Just so we can see the particles better. Second cobblestone. Oh, wrong, wrong block. Oh, we're out of cobblestone. So I guess we'll be using that now. Get some cleaning. Just put it at their feet so they can't escape from their cells. And open the trap doors. And yeah, that was simulate the trading. Not sure. Their workstation being with them. They have their bits, they should revert to being normal villages. I mean, there's some librarians here, and they should revert to being normal villages. Don't mind the extra trapdoors out there. Okay, this guy hasn't been traded with, and that should be good. Uh, let's see who does this link to. To look out for particles. No particles? No particles? You guys don't want to link to this? For real? For real you guys? Ain't no one linking to this? You all don't like the yellow bits? Cause I don't either, to be honest. Or maybe I'm just not seeing the particles. Hello guys. Anyone? Any takers? No takers? Nobody wants to link to that bit? How about this bit? Huh. The villagers are being villagers right now. And they are not cooperating. Well. Well, I guess we'll leave this to the next episode, guys. Well, yeah, that should be it. I shall wrap up this episode. Right here. With 14 villagers wrapped up in this trading hall kind of place and see you guys in the next episode of let's play thanks for watching and if you enjoy the content please don't hesitate to subscribe it helps a lot and it's free unlike twitch and yeah feel free to drop a like feel free to drop a comment if you have any suggestions or uh, things that you want to see in our channel and that's all guys see you later in the next episode thanks for watching